This is Joey Fatone. It's time to play Family Feud. Give it up for Steve Corbin. Everybody, I'm your man Steve Harvey. We got a good one for you today. We got the Lawson family playing against the Freedy family. All it is for a chance to win a lot of cash and a shot at a brand new car right there. To win the money, you gotta play the game. Let's get it on. Let's play feud. Give me Joyce. Give me David. Let's go. All right, guys, here we go. We got the top seven answers on the board. Name a reason a man might not be up for a night of lovemaking. Joyce. He's tired. He's tired. We gotta play, Steve! He's tired. I don't know. <laughs> that ever stopped you, Dave? Uh-uh. <laughs> Oh, okay. Hey, Cynthia, how you doing? Hi, Steve. Congratulations. Y'all Thank won you. that money last Thank time. Thank you. Well, name a reason a man might not be up for a night of lovemaking. Because of the medication he's taking? His medication. Medication. Yeah, okay. The medication. <laughs> Lillian, how you doing? I'm good. You were a part of that $20,000 winning combo. Mm -hmm, you did mm -hmm. a good job, too. You play well. Thank you. Give me a reason a man might not be up for a night of lovemaking. Because he's cheating. Because he's cheating. Oh! That was a good answer. Wow. Two strikes. The Freeney family, get ready to steal. Name me a reason a man might not be up for a night of lovemaking. He has an STD. He has an STD. That's gonna be a good one right here. So where you folks from? We're from Boston, Mass. Boston, Mass. Go Red Sox. <laughs> Go Red Sox. What do you do for a living, Dave? I'm in the construction field. Oh, yeah? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Construction field? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to specify. No, I, I, I don't, don't want to know anything else about your business. No. I saw the Sopranos, I'm through. <laughs> if, they, if this ain't Tony and the boys, you tell me. <laughs> Big Dave. Give me a reason a man might not be up for a night of lovemaking. He'd rather watch sports on TV. <laughs> <laughs> See, ladies, now you're getting into the mindset of the man. It ain't gonna be up there, because they probably asked a bunch of women this question. That's why everybody's struggling. Watching sports. <laughs> Start with number seven. <laughs> I can tell you right now, that pretty much shuts down everything. I'm not going to work. I'm not singing. I'm not taking a bath. <laughs> number six. Number five. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's that's the reason why. <laughs> number four. Number three. He's drunk. Now I'm stunned, fellas. <laughs> Y'all didn't get that one, man? Come on. And number two. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's go to question two. Give me Cynthia. Give me Craig. Let's go. Here we go, guys. We got the top five answers on the board. Name something a person might change if they were trying to hide from the law. <laughs> Cynthia. Their hair color. Their hair color. Clothes. 
Change your clothes. <laughs> Pass or play? We're gonna play. They're gonna play. Yeah. Lillian, give me something a person might change if they're trying to hide from the law. I think they would change their name. Change their name. <laughs> Sonia. <laughs> Sandra. <laughs> Name something a person might change what they were trying to hide from the law. Their address, their location. Their address. <laughs> Only one answer left, Raymond. No strikes on the board, man. How about their job? Change their job. <laughs> one answer left. Only one strike, Joyce. Give me something a person might change if they're trying to hide from the law. Their social security number. Their social security number. <laughs> Social security number. Oh. It's two strikes. <laughs> Cynthia? Their friends. Change their friends. Oh. Well, look at the question we got <laughs> for the Sopranos. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't get this, we can pretty much call it. <laughs> Name something a person might change if they're trying to hide from the law. Only one answer. Their car. Oh, no, car. car. Yeah, car. <laughs> we don't pronounce that rise in Boston. <laughs> <laughs> Their car. For a moment, I was just sitting there. The car. <laughs> we need another letter here, Dave. The car. C A. Car. Car. Come on out with it, Dave. The car. Uh, All right. He's killing me. Because that's what you do. Right. If you're running from the law, you got to switch cars. Right. I, I mean, what movie have you not seen that in? It's a great answer. The car! <laughs> Number four. Sexy! Lawson awesome Family 135. Pretty boys ain't on the board, but don't worry about it. We'll be right back. Hey, welcome back to the feud, everybody. Lawson Family 135. Freedy Family not on the board. Give me Lillian. Give me Nick. Let's go. Okay, guys, we've got the top seven answers on the board. We asked 100 married men, name a place where it wouldn't be much fun if you brought your wife. <laughs> Nick. The bar. To the bar! <laughs> Great answer. What is it? A sporting event. Sporting event. <laughs> hey, hey. We're gonna play. They're gonna play. Yeah. Lady, <laughs> we ask 100 married men, name a place where it wouldn't be much fun if you brought your wife. Strip club. Good yeah. 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 Strip club. <laughs> you gotta sit there and go, look at her, this is ridiculous. <laughs> She's shaking it way too hard, isn't she? You gotta sit there and play that off with your wife at a strip club. None of the usual guys. <laughs> any, any of you ladies ever been to a strip club? Yes. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, God. <laughs> Why did I know it was gonna be her? Yes, I went down there, I followed him. We're no longer together. <laughs> Raymond, <laughs> what? We ask 100 married men, name a place where it wouldn't be much fun if you bought your wife. How about a bachelor party? Bachelor party. <laughs> bachelor party. <laughs> that was a good answer. Only one strike, Joyce. Friend's house. Over friend's house. <laughs> you know, that's, that's kind of where you take your wife. You go over friend's house. 
No, not when y'all drinking and lying. Not when y'all drinking and lying? Yeah. My girl, Joy. I don't know how this gonna work out, but we need to hang out sometime. <laughs> drinking and lying, me and Joyce. I love you, I love you too. <laughs> Hey, two strikes there, Cynthia. If it's there, you're still alive. If not, the Freeney family, get ready to steal. To the club. To the club! Big Dave, it's your shot, man. Take this right here and fix that for you. Big man, here we go. Thank you, Steve. We ask 100 married men this. Name a place where it wouldn't be much fun if you bought your wife. Fishing. Hard to take her fishing. Walking on the boat. Yeah, that, 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 that. I'm trying to fish. Fishing. <laughs> Number five. <laughs> Number three. <laughs> Number two. It's still anybody's game. We'll be right back, folks. Don't go away, okay? <laughs> Welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. We got a good one. Lawson Family 135, Trini 74. Give me Sonya. Give me John. Let's go. <laughs> Point values are tripled here, guys. This is a big one. Top five answers are on the board. Name something that has curves. Sonya. A woman. A woman? Yeah. We like to play. They're gonna play. <laughs> Raymond, give me something that has curves. The road. The road? <laughs> Joyce? Yeah. Bam! I know it's up there. Name something that has curves. Tires. Tires. Don't like about you, Joyce. Yes. You do all of this hoopla <laughs> about the answer being up there. Then when it ain't up there, you just bust out laughing. <laughs> 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 Only one strike, Cynthia. A circle. A circle. Good answer. Good answer. A circle. Thank you. Two Good strikes, answer. Lillian. The other team can steal and win. Name something that has curves. A maze. Bam, bam, bam. You gonna walk? Maze! Can't believe you won 20,000. <laughs> you did your crazy tail say a maze. <laughs> right after your crazy sister sit up here and say the damn tire. <laughs> Oh, whoa, whoa, we gotta get serious here, man. If it's there, fellas, you steal, you win. This is business, let's go. Name something that has curves. A roller coaster. <laughs> For the win, a roller coaster. <laughs> Number four. Yeah. Lawson family, give me two people. Let's go for this money, man. Let's go. We got Raymond. We got Lillian. We're going for twenty thousand. We'll be right back. We're playing fast money, man. Hey, welcome back to the feud, everybody. The Lawson family won the game, and it's time to play. Before we get started, Lillian, here's your mom, Alice, and some other family members want to wish you luck. We are the Lawsons from Maryland. Raymond, Lillian, Sonia, bring home the money! 
Well, we're back again. You guys did pretty well the first time. Let's see if we can get it done again. Raymond is off stage. He can't see or hear any of your answers. I'm going to ask you five questions in 20 seconds. Try to give me the most popular answer. If you can't think of something, just say pass, and we have enough time. I'll get back to it for you. And then if you and Raymond together somehow manage to come up with 200 points, look right there and tell everybody what you win. $20,000! dollars You ready? I'm ready. 20 seconds on the clock, please. The clock will start after I read the first question. Name something people begin wearing as they reach middle age. Girdles. On a scale of 1 to 10, how exciting is your mate? 8. Name a kind of nut. Peanuts. Name something that happens to you when you're nervous. Shakes. Name a place a baby sticks his fingers that he's not supposed to. In his nose. Damn. She's a good player. Okay, let's go, Lily. And I said, name something people begin wearing as they reach middle age. You said, girdle, survey said. Mm -hmm. On a scale of one to 10, how exciting is your mate? You said, an eight, survey said. Mm -hmm. I asked you to name a kind of nut. You said, peanut, survey said. Mm -hmm. Name something that happens to you when you're nervous. You said, shake, survey said. Mm -hmm. Name a place a baby sticks his fingers that he's not supposed to. You said, in the nose, survey said. 86, that's almost there, that's good enough. I can get it done. Clear the board, let's bring out Raymond. He's a good one. Raymond, here's the good news. She almost got you halfway there. You just need 114 points. This is very doable, man. Okay. You can get this done, okay? All right. All right, now, I'm gonna ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answer. If you do, you're gonna hear this sound. I'll say try again, you give me another answer. It's gonna be a little tougher this time, so we're gonna give you 25 seconds. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's remind everyone of Lillian's answers. 25 seconds on the clock. The clock will start after I read the first question. Name something people begin wearing as they reach middle age. Girdles. Try again. Stockings. On a scale of one to 10, how exciting is your mate? Eight. Try again. Nine. Name a kind of nut. Uh, macadamia. Name something that happens to you when you're nervous. Sweat. Name a place a baby sticks his fingers that he's not supposed to. Year. Okay. <laughs> Got some work to do. Let's see how we did. Name something people begin wearing as they reach middle age. You said stockings. Survey said Aww. number one answer: glasses. Glasses. On a scale of one to ten, how exciting is your mate? You said a nine. Survey said. Okay, number one answer was 10. I said, name a kind of nut. You said, macadamia. Survey said, number one answer was peanut. I said, name something that happens to you when you're nervous. You said, you sweat. Survey said, 31. Sweat was the number one answer. You are 63 points away. I said, name a place a baby sticks his fingers that he's not supposed to. You said, in his ear. Survey said, number one answer, a socket. A socket was the number one answer. That's okay, man. $5 a point, that's $725. For a two-day total, $20,000. $725, and they're coming back to face another family right here on The Feud, y'all. I'm Steve Harvey. We'll see you next time, folks.